when I saw him, and I said, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> When he was puppy, he was a, like a monkey. He barely had a tooth and eyes was really big. One gentleman thought he was wombat. They couldn't take their eyes from Lupo because they couldn't believe. But he knows he's cute. When I got Lupo, we treat him like our baby. Most of the people who doesn't know how to take care of him, they're always complaining to me. You need to cut their fur, you need to shave. His fur is long and it's how they should be because they are double coat. He's a very expressive dog. <laughs> His body language and face expressions is so funny. <laughs> and he makes that signature face expressions with a little tongue out. Oh. It makes his head face. Do you want to go out? Do you want to go out? When he runs, if it's happy run, he tends to throttle. But also, he likes to be respected. If he doesn't want to do anything, you got to leave him alone. He says, I am my personality. Never offend him. I had one guy, he said, how did you dare to bring a rabbit in a dog park? And he looked at me, look at me and said, sorry, sorry. <laughs> in one park, we always catch up with black poodle. And we always call him, let's go to see Malo. They're so adorable. Even if it's small, he wants to play all the time. He doesn't have any fear. He wants to say hi to everyone else. Then he felt happy when he can communicate with other animals. Every morning, whenever I open the door, he wants to make sure to visit every house. He always goes to my neighbor, so he can say hi to his cat, friend, And then Cat is sort of playing with his fur. He's amazing. <laughs> <laughs>